paperwork shows that Nalani Johnson's mother filed for a protection from abuse order against the toddler's father, Paul Johnson. Investigators found two-year-old Nalani's body in a park in Indiana County yesterday. They believe a woman who was romantically involved with Nalani's father kidnapped her. Now, according to this PFA petition, Nalani's mother said Paul Johnson threatened to harm her and Nalani in the past. John Shumway is live tonight with more on the petition and reaction to the case. John. It's been quite a day here in the park in Indiana County. In fact, uh, a steady procession of unicorns, teddy bears, angels appearing under this tree. Meanwhile, the day started with investigators still here. In fact, you can still see the crime tape uh, that is up here in the park as they search for answers as to exactly how this all went down. The story of little Nalani Johnson has lodged deep in hearts. It's just an awful thing. It's just she was a baby. Yeah, it touched my heart so much. You know, I followed it constantly on the news. The constant flow of people drawn here with tributes to the toddler share in a disbelief. Not even knowing these anybody involved or this innocent child. No. This is wrong. Court records indicate Nalani's mother sought and got a temporary protection from abuse order from Nalani's dad, Paul Johnson, in April. But no one showed up for the hearing to make it permanent. Among the many accusations in her filing, Nalani's mom, Gladys Duarte, said that Johnson at one point said he considered killing himself and Nalani. We went to the apartment today where the woman accused of kidnapping Nalani, Sharina Nancy, lives. Posters alerting residents to Nalani's disappearance are still around, and her neighbor tells me she had heard Nancy and Paul Johnson frequently argue over their relationship. I'm sad about the little girl. I really am, but as far as her, it, just the way that she would carry herself, you just know when somebody is not right. You just have that that feeling or that vibe. Sources tell KDKA Nalani was still in her car seat when she was found in the woods here in the Pine Ridge Park. There were no signs of visible trauma. I was coming from my mom's house today and I said I gotta stop and get a little teddy bear for that little girl because it's just heartbreaking. Now, I'm told by the district attorney's office in Indiana County that they were getting the various agencies and investigators together for a meeting this afternoon. They have to decide exactly how this goes forward, who handles the jurisdiction, who handles the prosecution. And uh, to at last word, that meeting was still going on, and the results of the autopsy that were scheduled today have not yet been released. We'll have more coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, live in Indiana County, John Shumway, KDK.